Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Ogre Battle. All right, uh, let's continue our uh, little side quest here to get the Zodiac Stones. Let's uh, head to uh, Muspelm. <coughs> we uh, should be getting one of them here. All right, luckily I don't think this map was as big. All right, let's see. Let's go uh, is it there. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, that's right. It was this little town all the way up here. There's one down here. It's probably going to be this temple that we're going to get the thing in. And of course, oh no, actually, it might be this temple down there. All right, well, let's see what we've got. Any loots? Nope. Uh, forget to what? I don't, I don't remember what you were saying. Oh, well, it's not important. <clears throat> sure, it's not important. Who cares about the temples? They're not giving me any... Well, actually, the temples are giving me stuff. Well, never mind. <laughs> Let's not say that. Because I tend to get the, uh, um... Zodiac stones from the temples. Oh, yay, a neutral character. Wow, who'd have thought I'd encounter a neutral character? <sighs> so, anyway, uh, sorry about the end of last episode. Um, it cut off. It, the, my recorder said that it ran out of space, even though it did not. I don't know. This is actually a new session, which is why I didn't say something right away. Um... I just had a lot of little bad luck things uh, going on with recording last week. It was... it was fun. It really was. Alright, well, we got these two left. And finally, this must be where we're gonna get the uh, item that I want. Ah, I see that... I see this warrior has a tablet of Yaru. A tablet of Yaru? Yaru? Are you sure there is multiple tablets of Yaru? Then I have a gift for you, Elheim. Here is the Zodiac Stone, the Peridot. Actually, is it Peridot or Perido? I think I've heard it uh, pronounced both ways, and I never bothered looking it up. Oh, well. Alright, so we got that. Um... I think that takes us up to seven Zodiac Stones now. Uh, let's see, that's... Yep, seven. Alrighty. Oh, I suppose I should look to see what that one is. The eighth stone of the Zodiac signifies knowledge. Excellent. Um, alright, so that was Muspelm, we've done those, we have not done City Molino. So that's the other thing that I'm, I'm kind of, I, I got, I started up uh, the game and I'm like, okay, which city, wh which places were the ones that I went to again? <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> I think we actually get, uh, I don't think we get it at a temple in this map. I think we get it in a city. Actually, half tempted to use uh, one of my uh, one of my uh, termites on this map just for the heck of it, because I can. All right, there are then then we go out here. Uh, let's see, which one do we get it at? San Belna, I believe. Ah, that one all the way over there. Okay, well, that will be a while. Of course, it is always at the last one that I go to. Ooh, revolts in various places. Fantastic. Come on, guys. Give me, give me loot. I, I have, like, people here and stuff. You know, give me loot. I 
we'll use a ray of sunshine right about now. Since I have a bunch of them. Oops. Actually, where is the shop? The Lala. Oh, okay. Might stop there and see what they have. Probably not going to get anything for any of these other towns, but it's like, you know, as long as I'm on the map, I might as well check them again. Oh, we discovered the Book of the Dead in the castle. Please accept this. Thank you! But I only get ring undead rings for that, don't I? Damn it. Don't want more undead rings! I want undead stabs! Why you no give me undead stabs, game? Alright, let's go, uh, let's go visit the shop. See if they have anything interesting. <coughs> go ahead and use another, uh, ray of sunshine, because this is a large map. Yeah. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. Like, part of it is because the, uh, microphone cable is in the way. Alright, let's see. What do you have for sale? Nothing good. Not gonna buy any persuasion spells. Don't really need troops anymore at, at this point, really. Let's go visit this temple there, and then this town. And... Couple little towns down here, nothing quite that far down. And then these that we missed over there. Ah. Can't quite get them get to them all. Yeah, this place has a lot of stuff. You could you could get a lot of money from this one. Let's see, income projection. Oh yeah, no, that's right. Can't see what they what it would be. Yes, I've heard that they found Shangri-La because I've been there. <clears throat> I'm planning to make it my new home, you know. It's a nice place to live. It's very easy to just, uh, you know... Well, there aren't that many towns left. I think we'll just let it go. It's very easy, you know, when uh, people uh, anger you. Just, you know, kind of... Boom! Oh! Oh! Sorry! Elaine, you have the Tablet of Yaru. Then take this ruby, one of the stones of the zodiac. You received ruby. Why, thank you. I'm totally gonna sell all of these. Roll in the wealth, because three million goth right now isn't enough. And just those two places left. Sure. Please accept this promotion. Use it in battle. Hey, I I will. Thank you. I could have sworn that I uh, did that already. I, that, I, I, I like, specifically remember that, uh, that event. I wonder if some of these are random when you'll, you'll like, get them in random towns and stuff like that. I don't know. But, I mean, even visiting again right after the, the map, which I'm pretty sure I did every single time on this playthrough. Um, I don't know, maybe there's a couple that I missed. Well, let's go take a look at uh, the ruby. The ruby, the seventh stone of the zodiac, signifies honor. And seriously, another book of the dead. I mean, how many of these do I have? I mean, how many undead rings do I have now? Five. 
Oh, I do have an undead staff. I should use that. Well, I'll see if I get any more sentinel demons before I uh, use that. Alright, so that was Molino. Let's go to Tundra. There should be a uh, another zodiac stone here. Probably have checked to see where the, uh, the shop was, so I can visit that, see if there's anything good. Oh, well. I can always visit it again or something. I don't know why I want to get it like so perfectly on there. Nansen. Oh, okay. Good. It's all the way up there, so I don't need to worry about missing it in this first run. <clears throat> uh, I did just remember that I picked up a uh, neutral character that I should probably delete. Yes. Let us go ahead and do that. Back to 92, which is what I want to be at. Like I said previously, I don't think there's anyone else that you'll actually get, um, named character-wise, but... You know, it's, uh, probably a good idea to just, uh... Keep it low. Uh, who knows, maybe I'll find a good neutral character that I really, really want. Very skeptical. And I missed the Ray of Sunshine. Eh, we'll hit that on the way back. Nothing out there. I believe we get the Zodiac Stone from this temple. All the way over there, and that should be the shop, so let's just stop there. I'll need to keep an eye on the sun. Everyone was just saying that they were thanking me for uh, having for returning Valhalla to peace. Jeez. Oh, Elaim, you have the Tablet of Yaru. Then I will give you the turquoise, one of the stones of the zodiac. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, turquoise, the twelfth stone of the zodiac, signifies royalty. Uh, did we look at all of them? I think so. I am running low on space. I should sell some junk. First of all, let's go ahead and use a moonbeam. Actually, as long as I'm here, let's see. Uh, 8, 11, 11, dirt. Let's sell that. Uh, 8, sell that. That. Oh. And multiples. Um. I'll sell that. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and sell that. Sell that. Power shield is good. I'll keep those others for now. There we go. Cleaned up some inventory space. <clears throat> Let's see what they have for sale down here. Anything good? Get moonbeams. Take a few more of those. Those 
just yet. Alright, let's see. I just find moonbeams a little bit easier to use. Uh, I will want... I think I will want a few more sunbeams. I think that is about it. So, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's visit these last uh, towns, see if we get anything. Oh, yay, a neutral character. Another character to, de to delete. Woohoo! Awesome. So silly. Come on, get into our party. We'll get rid of you later. Alrighty, two more towns to go. Hopefully we can... Oh. Alright. Can't quite get it in time. Since there were two cities left, I didn't... I was pretty sure I could not get those... get them in in time. And oddly enough, you do lose, um reputation if you just hang around on these maps. So you can't hang around on these maps like fighting neutral characters to get uh, um, your stats in... Um, you know, like you can't fight undead to get your uh, uh, alignment up and stuff like that. It's uh, a little annoying, actually. Uh, let's go to... Antalya. I don't know that there's anything of import here, but we might as well hit it. Uh, you know what? I forgot to set my uh, timer. Oh well, it's uh, not a big deal. I've got a bunch of towns right off the bat here. Let's go visit them. Oh. Dang it, let's not go to those first. Let's go to these. And I botched that. Nope. So this is a decent place to um, fight undead if you want uh, a lower level character to, uh, you know, fix their alignment and charisma. Uh, specifically alignment. Um, but they're like level 20, so once you hit, I think, um, 22... Uh, you lose the effects. I was trying to do that with one of my wizards. But he hit that cap pretty quickly. So, wasn't able to uh, make much headway there. <coughs> but I did, I was able to get a couple other characters uh, um, to the right place. Which was nice. So, it was a few at least. Ah, oh, neutral character in the mountains. I don't remember neutral characters in the mountains. The swamps have, uh... I'm not sure if it's both on dead types or just one. I can't remember now. Oh, hello. Yeah, sure, you can come, in, come along. I'll delete you. Hey everyone, we now have a uh, Cerberus. Alright, let's go ahead and use a Ray of Sunshine. Probably didn't need to since this is a small enough map that I probably could have done it. In... Yeah, I could have done it. In... Ah, well. That's the way it goes. There, and then finally all the way down here. We will be running through these uh, swamps, though, so we might see some undead. And it seemed like it was more they they happened more likely at night. Now that would be a good thing to use your uh, um, uh, 
moonbeams and rays of sun sunshine for to make sure that it stayed at the same um, the same day, which is not something that I did, which I'm a little annoyed at myself for. But you know, what are you gonna do? All right, Antonio, I'm pretty sure there's nothing here. No, um, uh, there's no uh, zodiac stones. That's for sure. All right. First of all, we will go here, and then here, and then we will visit all of these little places up here. Now we might get something interesting that I missed, though. Let's. Always a, a potential and a hope. <clears throat> yeah, good for you. You can go beyond the seal. Yay. I'm sure everyone is happy. So this is a really odd place with this center lake and island. And all the lakes feeding in, coming out. Let's go ahead and use a ray of sunshine again. I suppose I could have visited the shop in the center. Oh well. <clears throat> the only thing of interest there, I think, was the uh, crystal balls, which are really expensive. And I've got one, so that's good enough. I can probably do the rest of these uh, in the in this day, so shouldn't be a problem. Oh yeah, music uh, music mode. I forgot about that. I will have to feature that uh, at the end. There's also another um, bonus thing to do that I will uh, do. It's a single bonus map. Supposedly, you can get to it in the normal game, but I've heard it is bugged. So you cannot. Of course, I took a sip at the same time that a uh, text message came up, and I didn't have my hand on the controller. And you guys are all saying the same thing. That's, that's no fun. Well, we've got time. Let's go see what's uh, uh, what's for sale here besides the crystal balls again. All right. Now I was kind of hoping maybe some uh, sunbeams or something, but nope. Eh, it's okay. It's not that big a deal. All righty. Well, uh, let's go to Shigold. Don't know if we get one here. I don't think we do. Oh, let's circle around this way. There, down there, middle, whatever, right there. I still can't believe that there was no, there were no uh, hidden treasures on this little central island. It's like the perfect place for it. Maybe that's one reason why they didn't put one there, though. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Come on, people, give me stuff. What stuff? I'm saving you all. You should be giving me stuff. Yeah, the fire crest is somewhere in the world, except it's apparently bugged. Oh yay, a neutral character! Oh, I've I've been waiting for this, longing for it even. Shoot me now. 
game, you're just, like, setting me back on the amount of time that, that or lengthening the amount of time it takes to, uh, to get this all done. Because then I have to go in here and delete them. Let's go ahead and do that. So, let's see. Delpoi the Ice Giant. Let's get rid of that guy. Horikusin, the Tiamat, and Killix the Kerberos. Cerberus. Dude, that was a... That was a long one. <laughs> Quite long-winded there. Oh, did I... I think I did miss it. Oh, well. I'll use a moonbeam. Oh, you have the Tablet of Yaru. Then I shall give you one of the 12 stones of the Zodiac, the diamond. Ah, you do get one here. Cool. What does the diamond do? Or, what is the diamond? The fourth stone of the Zodiac signifies wisdom. So, let's see. We have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we're missing two. We've got uh, first, third, so we're missing the second. Fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, and twelfth. So we're missing the, uh, what was it? Second and eleventh. Yep. Alrighty. Alright, let's go visit that one. And that one. There. There. And then there. I think this is a shop. Yep, that's the shop. Good. We'll finish on the shop. Don't care about the dragons. They're they're really not that good. Alright, looks like I'm going to have to use Moonbeam. Yep, got to use Moonbeam. Dang it. Just a little bit too long on this map. I suppose there's also an ideal uh, route to take, but yeah, whatever. Um... Nothing good. I could get a dowsing rod, but I think I have one. And I, you really only need one of those because you can save load. Yep, I got four of them even. Alright. Let's head back. Um. Probably don't need to go there. I, I think that we we're kind of hitting a point where... So I know there's one in Raihan, and I know that there's one in uh, Dalmud. I don't think we really need to go to Fort Shulamana, or really Fort Alamu. So let's just skip that. We'll just go for the uh, last two. Um, maybe I'll do an off-screen run of the other places uh, when we get to, like, uh, the final... right before we get to the final map, just in case. Alright, so first we'll visit that one, and then this one. You'd think this river would be more fertile along it, but who knows. Alright, I'm pretty sure that we get one from there. There's just two more towns there. I'm following the holy path, don't worry. Just look at my reputation. Alrighty. Nothing there. Come on, people, give me stuff. 
Oops. Oh. Oh, yeah. It does say the temple. Oops, my bad. You have the Tablet of Yaru, Elohim. And I shall give you one of the twelve stones of the Zodiac, the Amethyst. Sweet! You received Amethyst. What does that one... What... Which one is that one? Second stone of the Zodiac. Signifies reverence. What about revenants? Well, I'll visit Aliabard as well again. Um, let's go ahead and use items. Ray of Sunshine. There we go. Get this nice sunning going on. You have come to see me? Uh, yes, I have, Gizalfi. What do you want to hear about? Uh, the Twelve Disciples. It's about the Twelve Wise Men who fought with the Three Knights in the legendary Ogre Battle. They were white mages who can change their compassion into a lethal weapon. Uh... I'm, like, eyeing this oddly. They can change their compassion into a lethal weapon. That, that seems kind of oxymoronic. Just saying. The gods looked on them as holy men. They destroyed the demons and sealed them into the underworld, and that one other place, like Antalya or whatever it was called. I forget. After that, they taught about the gods to the people. Therefore, they are called the Twelve Disciples. The, or the origin of Roshian Temple, Tichi, Temples, blah, 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 you know what I mean, came from the Twelve Disciples. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I wasn't done with you. I didn't know I was going to get that option. Get back there, Ellie. Yes, I have. Twelve Zodiac Stones. The power of white magic is incredible. One mistake and it can lead the world into chaos. The Twelve Disciples didn't want to misuse its power, so they sealed its power into the Twelve Stones. The power will be sealed until the true successor of the gods will appear. That's me. That's me. 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 Right here. <laughs> when the demons... When the demons onto the... When the demons onto the world? What? People called these stones the Twelve Stones of the Zodiac. This is the time to use the Twelve Stones of the Zodiac, but we cannot find the successor. I'm here! I'm here! Right here! Alright, let's see what he says about the location. Where the stones are. Nobody knows where the stone Twelve Stones are, but there is a way to find them. Get the Tablet of Yaru from the God from Goddess of Justice Falana. If you, Elheim, are true hero... I've got the sign of heroes, thingies, whatever it's called. Star of heroes, that's what it is. She may give you the tablet. Yay, she did, and I have it, and it's awesome, I'm awesome, and stuff like that. Alright, well, don't get anything else from him. I was kind of hoping he would, but whatever. I suppose... I suppose I will, uh... be okay with that. Yeah, uh, we knew about that. Alright, well... Of course, the amount of time that we're... that this, uh... thing takes... the reward is awesome, but I'm not quite sure that it's this awesome. We'll see. We should be able to finish this up in the, the in this episode. So I just I decided to just let it go long. Um Don't need to go to, Well, we did Shangala already. We did Shiggle. Uh did not do Alamut or Shulamana. I don't think we need to, but we do need to go to Raihan. I don't think I need to visit any of the other places here, since we just did. I don't think much has really changed, so anything else that's changed can probably wait. Um, is it this one? Let's see. Yeah. 
This should be it. You have the Tablet of Yaru, Elheim. Then I will give you the Zodiac Stone, the Topaz. Why, thank you. I appreciate that. Alright, let's go uh, take a look to see what that one is. Topaz, the 11th Stone of the Zodiac. Signifies prosperity. Excellent. So, what do we do now? Let's go to... Um, back to Muspelm. Hey, Surter, are you around? No? Dang it. Wrong Muspelm. Well, that's Muspelheim, anyway. That's clearly what this name is. Alright, now we need to go to a specific city. That one all the good god. Seriously? Couldn't make it a closer one. Like the one next to me. Nope. Couldn't. Alrighty. Go up there. Oh, yay, a neutral character. All right. Get into our stock so I can delete you. May I have all all of the zodiac stones? Sure. Are you sure? Yes. Thank you. I will give you a set of dream crowns in return. Receive dream crown. Wait, a set of them or just one? <gasps> okay. I take it back. I thought you only got one. Ah. Oh my god. Oh. Holy crap. I have never done this mini quest before. How much do I sell one for? 24,000. Holy crap. Oh my god, I don't know what I'm going to do with all of that. I mean, I could have princesses up the wazoo, sure, but... Holy crap! Alright, so now the question would be, like, who should become a princess? Um... I mean, it might be a good idea to turn some of these monks into princesses, since they don't have much else to do, but... I mean, to a certain extent, they're not all that great if they're not leaders. Um, so we got Aisha as a princess. I suppose I could make this Ronnie's unit and have Ronnie turn into a princess, although her intelligence isn't that great. Well, she is using an Ogre Blade, which I think reduces it. Oh, man. Holy crap. I was not expecting this at all. I mean, I don't know whether it's really worthwhile or not, Although, she would make a pretty awesome princess. That would really enhance this party. Could even turn um, Leaf into a princess, have double pr <laughs> double princess party. Oh my god. Uh I'm I'm a bit overwhelmed here. I could turn everyone into a princess, pretty much. Oh man, I I honestly don't know what I want to do. I probably will turn Roses into a princess. The witch is pretty good, but I, I think that she'd be better as a, a princess simply because of that intelligence score, which is pretty impressive on its own. Oh man, uh... I, uh... I don't know. 
I mean, to an extent, it's like, you know, who needs healing with when, when you have such an awesome party? I suppose I could turn uh, Ronnie into a muse and then put her in the back row. I'd have to dump uh, Tia and uh, put someone else in since... Yeah, I've got Warren. This wouldn't be Warren's party anymore, though. Whew, man. I, uh... This is, this is pretty fantastic. Um, I did not know I was going to get so many of those. Yeah, see, the thing that I'm looking at is... is now, now that all 12 Zodiac Stones are yours, return to the Muspelm stage and go to the city of Chilfa, in the northwestern corner of the map. There you will be able to exchange the stones for a royal crown. Use this item on an Amazon and see what happens. See, if they had said, exchange the stones for 99 royal crowns, I'd have been like, yeah, I'm all over this. But no, it just was one, you know, oh god. I, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously overwhelmed here. I don't, I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, you know, should I turn every female character I have into one? It's a bit much. Um, I do think that turning Riddell, uh, Riddle, Riddle here into a, a, a print. Oh, sh holy crap! Look at that intelligence. Yeah, uh, into a, a princess would be a good idea. That would really boost the power of. Um, uh, this party here considerably. Um, not that they need it, and I'd still have the ability to crush undead. Of course, the other thing is that um, that'll substantially increase the costs of units, but I don't know that that matters that much at this point. Oh, man. Um, yeah. Hmm. Well, we uh, we have not. Se let's let's go ahead and turn Ronnie into a muse. Uh, I mean, uh, um, a princess. Uh, let me go save it real fast, just in case I decide not to keep this. Not sure why I would, but who knows. I might see what else she can become, just so that I can take a look at the, uh, um, the icons. Since I kind of wish I'd done that for the other, uh, characters. I would really like to, like, I kind of wish that there was a cheat code so that, that gave you unlimited, uh, class changes. Uh, just so that I could see what all of the, uh, named characters look like. I could actually turn Lion from a Dragon Tamer back into a fighter? I could turn... I could turn the liches into a skeleton? Well, that's weird. Alright, so uh, we can make her a Valkyrie. Let's see what happens. Alright, so that's her as a Valkyrie. Let's turn her into an Amazon. She uh, doesn't look all that different. Okay, slightly different hair color. Very blonde, a little bit more pinkish blonde, strawberry blonde there. All right, but let's uh, let's see. Um, where's the items? Use items. Dream crown. Alright, Tia, you can become a princess. So that's the standard princess. And Ronnie is a princess. I should make a party all of all princesses just to see what they all look like. Interesting. Interesting difference. So, Stardust in the front row, I guess, you know... 
might as well see what that's uh, what that would be like. And oops, change leader. Let's go back to items and see what, uh... So you've got the Ogre Blade. Our intelligence does not go up. That's just a Thunder Charm. I'll leave this equipped for now. So, and that is Aisha as a princess, and Norn as a princess. Rani as a princess, and that is the default princess. Much more golden. I was expecting something a little bit whiter. Alright, let's go ahead and... i got to change the leader for roses. Yeah, I'll go ahead and have two princesses in that party. Um... I don't know, should I turn, like, this entire group into princesses? That would be insane. But I could totally do it. I could do all princesses here as well. Oh god, I'm, I'm like... You know, it's like... And I thought all my parties were pretty powerful already. <laughs> Maybe I'll keep it limited, um... Let's see, change leader. Yeah, for now, we'll just do a um, couple others. Um, I'll be keeping a lot of... Uh, um, we'll turn Kiki into a princess. And it looks like Balius is not going to be in the uh, lead anymore here. It will be uh, Stefan. I guess it's supposed to be Stephanie. All right, let's see. Change class. Who can? Who do we change class for? First of all, you. Go back to Amazon. Um. Well, I think I will keep Leo as a monk because of uh, the samurai. Uh, because of Sting, he'll be losing hit points uh, when he uses his Sonic Strike. So that might not be the best idea. And I want to keep... I mean, I want to keep Sting as the leader because... Sting, you know? <laughs> Let's turn Violet into an Amazon. Let's go ahead and turn Roses into an Amazon. And Corinne. And Stefan. Stephanie? I'll just call her Stephanie. That's probably what she's supposed to be. And I guess I should probably just turn Anessa and Kiki both into princesses. Why not, you know? She can't become anything. Wow, that's... That's one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, save before I did this, because of stuff like that. Alright, dream crowns. Let's see. You can become a princess. You can become a princess. Princesses everywhere. Princesses unite. Many princesses. It's insane. 
and I can sell more for monies. Of course, I can't change uh, Ellie to... I mean, I can't change the leader of this group to anyone other than Ellie, but... Still, 91. Alright, change leader. Alright, Kiki. Once again, print, uh, the leader. Oh, whoops. Missed one. All right, Stephanie. There you go. All right, I believe that is everyone now. I suppose I could change someone into a lich now, too. I'll have to look around for, uh, Who that would be who would be appropriate for that? All right, Stephanie, you are now in charge there. Yeah, I've already made the change there. All right, Violet, get back in charge. Roses, is this uh? That's still low sky. Good. Corinne. All right. Oh man, so many princesses. Let's see, how many princesses do we have now? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven princesses. And I thought two was pretty impressive on its own. Holy crap, and I could totally make more. I get to make these two parties here. Just be three princes princesses in the back row, just obliterating everything with the uh, starlights. I mean, as it is, they've got three thunder flares there, which is more than enough to kill most things. I don't think Nigel and uh, Leonard are going to be getting any attacks. Certainly won't be getting many. Oh, man. Just imagine putting princesses on these parties. Oh, uh, that would be that would be just evil. And now we've got three acid clouds there. Um, two magics there from Conan. I could turn Conan into a lich. That might be a good idea. Not that any of these guys get to do anything. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Now that we've completely made our uh, um, army even more OP, um, I think we'll call this an episode, and in the next one we will uh, continue on and completely obliterate maps. See you next time, everyone.